When you're history taking, it is important to guide the questions so that that will aid in the diagnosis. So for example, if you have been you know, changing the antifreeze in your car and you left it lying around, and then your dog, you noticed his looking lethargic, maybe vomited, depressed, there's a change, a definite change in behavior, then you may not associate that with you left the antifreeze outside, but when you come to the veterinarian, uh, you need to sort of think about what could, oh yeah, I did change my antifreeze yesterday, you know, and potentially the veterinarian will ask the question. Uh, and uh, that's part of taking the history. So you need to think about all of these things that may happen. So if you are in a place where, you know, antifreeze is something that's used, then you need to ask that question because an owner may just not even think that that was important. And even with a cat, because all they have to do is put their paw on a place where antifreeze is and then they groom. And that might be enough to cause an initiation of uh, acute kidney injury. You know, do they have lilies in the house that the cat could have started chomping on? You know, that sort of thing. Um, in the fall period where there's been some damp weather, uh, especially in actually in towns where there's a raccoon population, then leptospirosis can be a problem. And if they aren't vaccinated for it, that's a question that you should ask.